Poland. Are you there with us? And we have a large group of students that will be sharing today. Oh, good morning, everybody. Hello, good day to you. And I'm gonna share quickly before I turn it over to you on your session. So you have uh, about 20 students from your high school there and you will be sharing your presentation called Protecting Our Planet Starts With Us. And your inspiration from our webinar with Dr. Rick Davis of NASA and the way that your students took that new information and explored the NASA website and other resources and then created spin-off inventions. So I'm so excited for this presentation and we will turn it over to you and your students. I think that we've been able to promote all of your students to co-host, but if not, they can just chat or sit, send I a message in the chat box. I have presentations, so, uh, presentation so I can share presentations. So it's Perfect. enough when I, when I uh, get the post. That sounds great. Okay, so all right. Go ahead. Thank share? you. Yes, please. Okay. So, so we start with the presentation and I give my students voice because today they are experts, not me. <laughs> So, uh, just a moment. Mm. Just a moment, what's happened? Okay, can you see my presentation just now? We can, it looks beautiful. Yeah, okay. So, so let's start. Michael and Julia. Mm, okay, um, good morning. Yes. Oh, good morning and good afternoon to the uh, to the people around the world. We are students from the Czernastelitsa Mogulnokształt Sons in Krakow, Poland. We are proud to present our work to all the students around the world. Let me first answer the most important question, the why. Why did we join the national, uh, the global project called Take Action Project? Well, the answer uh, our group said is quite interesting. And we said we want to change things. It is an interesting experience and people are ruining the planet. What do we want to share with you today? Well, first of all, we'll talk about how important conscious and responsible consumption is. It affects not only our health, but the natural environment too. We will present some of our spin-off inventions. The inspiration for them was a meeting with Rick Davis from NASA, which took place within the project. Uh, the first project is from Yagoda. So, <clears throat> The climate is changing and we can see it every day and everywhere, but still, even if we know it, many of us ignore it. In that case, we have to start doing something that will affect people and save our planet. So let's take a look at what we eat at first. My whole month, we are doing a sustainable food project in our classes, and the result is simple. In one meal, we could eat projects from whole world and even don't know about that. But there are more things that we should worry about. Like have these projects been manufacturers respecting human rights and what impact of the production and supply of these projects has on the environment. Starting by the topic of human rights. We don't know much about that. Media and politicians often avoid this topic, so we don't have clear information. But at the same time, it's obvious that people are being used in food production. For example, on the fields as a cheap lover. Please imagine by yourself walking hard all day in the sun for a little money. The next problem is carbon footprint. The production and supply of food to us contribute to the production of tons of CO2. The emission of greenhouse gases may increase the greenhouse effect, which leads to global climate changes, primarily increasing the air temperature and changing the water balance. And we need to remember that we all have or contribute in this, which is our carbon footprint. For example, mice ate 33 kilograms, and it says that this is my level of emission of greenhouse gases. What is interesting that while we are sitting at home because of coronavirus, we've been able to see the lowest level of air and water pollution in decades. And a lot of people notice this. Many of us travel using means of transport, but for now, we're not doing it that often. Our new habits which reduce the level of pollution can help our planet in the future. For example, shopping. For now, we go shopping less often than normal. We can see that doing shopping one time in a week is enough. And I think that many of people will do it in that way from now on. And also try to use only things that you know that they are needed. Don't buy useful things and in large quantities. 
The next thing is our garbage production. We can see it's bigger than normal. So while you're sitting at home, don't ignore it and take a look at it. Think of what things you don't need to use or try to use them less often. Also, contribute on social media. Talk a lot about global warming issues. Start discussion. Talk about it with other people. Even if you don't want to use social media to talk about this, you can 